What is going on guys? Welcome back to another episode here on the Off-Grid Garage. I just had another look at this monument of... This is really a piece of art, you know. So in the last episode we found out that a 7S, 7 cells in series makes the perfect 24 volt battery of a lithium ion. And we also learned what is the wrong and what is the right way to put batteries together. All right. And this out of the way, let's get started building our battery out of all these used laptop batteries. As you may remember, we are building a 7S 8P system, so we're putting 8 batteries in parallel and 7 of them in series. C series. So 7 times 8, 56, and this is exactly the amount of cells we have over there. Ah, well, before we start, I just want to show you something here. Uh, you probably can't see that actually. All right, I've put some numbers here to the stacks. So we've got six cells which have 1500 milliampere hours. Now we've got 19 cells with 1600 amp milliampere hours. We've got 30 cells with 1700 and we've got only one cell with 1800 milliampere hours. Okay, let's get started. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, we've got seven cells in series now. These are all the 1500s and this is already a 1600s. So I just keep going with the 1600s now. The last one is our 1822 milliampere hours. All right. All right, look at this. This is amazing, hey? So we've got eight, eight cells. Where do we start there? Eight cells in parallel, another eight in parallel, and another eight, and so on. And then we've got seven of these strings in series. And now, now the work starts. We need to figure out that, e that each of these rows has the same capacity as the next one. So they need to be all the same. So what you need now is a... So what you need now is a calculator and you need to add up all the capacities of each single cell. I'm just writing on the table. I hope I can remove it later. Okay, just showing you how this all works. So you put all the capacities, when the camera focuses, you put all the capacities in your, in your... So all these capacities of this row here is in the calculator and we have 1300... Now we've got 13.812 ampere hours or 13,812 milliampere hours for this parallel connection. This is twice, this is twice almost what this battery has. Mm -hmm. And remember, we can only use half of this capacity here of the 7 ampere hours if we want to get a decent life out of lit acid batteries. Well here we can use at least 80% of the whole capacity. So this is incredible high. Okay, I'll do the same for all the other rows and write down the numbers next to each row. Okay, and here is the result. 13812 13, 5, 9, 3, 13, 5, 2, 9, 13, 5, 2, 3, 13, 5, 7, 7, 13, 5, 8, 1, 13, 5, 2, 7. So this is really, really good. I'm, I'm so pleased this just worked out <laughs> as it is. Because we've got 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 
and swap this over with the 1800. This is our highest capacity cell here, the 1823 milliampere hours. And I probably swap this with a 1500. Let's see what this does. Okay, now we have to calculate again for this row and for this row. Actually, I just had another thought here, another look. Um, it may be more complicated now than I thought because all these rows, they are fairly balanced already, except of this one. This is far too high. So what we are doing now is taking larger capacity cells away and swap them with lower capacity cells of another row. So we will increase this capacity and decrease this capacity at this. And we have to do this multiple times to keep them all in balance. All right, by swapping these two cells, we have lowered this from 13.8 uh, to 13.5. So this is nice in the row with all the other ones. But we have lifted this one up to 13.766 now. So this is our highest row now. So we have to take away some of these cells here and swap them over the next lowest one, which is the 27 here at the end. Well, this can take hours, right? All right, I swapped another cell out and now we are down to 13693. And in the other row, we are up to 13600 now. So this is still quite good considering we've got 581, 577 and 593 and 600. This is all still in a good balance and 570 here. So the only down one is this one here now and this is still our high one. So we are swapping two cells out of here. So we need to get down about 90 and if we raise this one by 90 we are almost good to go I think. Okay and then well if it still doesn't fit I need to swap again and again and again. Uh, yeah this could take a um, while. Six hundred, five nine eight, six hundred, five nine seven, five five nine, ah, five nine three, five nine five. So all of them are pretty much balanced now, apart from this one. I just double checked all the rows again, and they're all fine, apart from this one. I don't know what happened here, but it's a total miscalculation. It's maybe my, maybe my handwriting here on the batteries. So we need to start all over again and balance this one out somehow to get closer to a 600. Uh, and it's already dark, you know. Oh. Oh. This took me like four hours to get this all done. And now I've got this miscalculation there. Oh, I'm so tired. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. We had a nice glass of red wine watching the sunset and we had dinner, of course. And then I went back in the off creek garage and finished my work here. Well, all in total, it took me probably half an hour to, to get this all done now. But um, yeah, well, I somehow was mistaken. There could be a thumbnail here. Okay guys, I just spent another 15 minutes here balancing these cells. This is this is as far as I get. I cannot balance it anymore. I've got a 90 I've got a 95 here and I've got a 86 here, but I cannot balance these two together anymore. I would have to balance this one with another one and then this one with a higher one. This gets all too far now. I think this is balanced enough. So what we have is 591 594 586, hmm? 591, 590, 593 and 595. So they are pretty much, so the, the lowest is 86 and the highest is uh, 95. So we are 9 milliampere hours apart from 13,000. This is like 0. Point whatever percentage is. I think this is pretty good. To, um, so, and, and every single row now, they all will be in parallel. So this, that means all the positives are being connected and all the negatives are being connected for each row. And 
Well, because I said at the beginning there are two methods, we can also put all these information into the computer on this website and it does all this work for you basically. So this was the manual process to get this all balanced and um, optimized. There's an automatic way for that. I'm not sure if this is easier or less easy, I don't, I don't know. Um, what I will do is now, I will mark them so we know here on this one here. So this will be a one, 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 one. Let me do the same here. Number two, number two, number two number two so you, you get the idea this is row number one this is row number two and so on so we can easily identify them later on because i have to put all these values now in the computer in this program and then it calculates all this for you automatically at the moment i think it's the easier way this took quite a long time and because i had this miscalculation in there i needed to rebalance again and I, I don't know. We will see. All right, all the cells are now labeled, so we know which one belong to which row. Amp, we've got nine millivolt difference. I'm very, very sure. I'm certain. I'm hundred percent. I'm. I'm very confident. The website will do a much better work than this one here, and it will also take less time to get this all organized. It will be more precise. But let's see. Let's see. Maybe, maybe this is already good enough. I don't know. So probably this all took me now one and a half hours all in total to get this all balanced and configured. Yeah, I think the website won't take that long. Well, but all in all, I'm really impressed with all this because we're getting 13.6 ampere hours out of these batteries here. So this should work a lot better in our solar gate. All right, guys, it is late now. <laughs> um, well, we're gonna say uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope this all makes sense. I think, uh, really, I liked it. It was really fun to do that, actually. I cannot imagine doing this with hundreds of cells. I think the 56 here, that is basically, that is probably, if you have more, it, it's a pain in the ass then. You should really use the website then, the repacker, which we will do in the next video very soon, probably tomorrow or the day after. So stay tuned for that. Thank you so much for watching and congratulations when you made it that far. <laughs> All right, I shall see you in the next video very soon. See you guys. Thanks. Bye bye. And it looks like I have butchered something here. Jeez, I hope this all comes off again. Otherwise, Mrs. Andy will be very, very annoyed. <laughs>